We're at the Women's Institute Science Rep Conference because we really want to get a relationship going with um, the local Women's Institute groups. The Women's Institute has access to over 200,000 women who are really influential in their families and their local communities. And they're the sort of people who are getting up and doing things. There's no reason why they shouldn't be doing science. And the Women's Institute does have a science strand. So if we can work through them, we can access not only the 200,000 members of the Women's Institute, but also all of their families and their, their local communities. Well, women can do science as well as men. I have a science background. I've done science. and. I think a lot of women feel they can't do it, but they can. A lot of WI ladies are grandmas and are involved in looking after grandchildren, but they, a lot still do go into schools that they've done reading clubs or whatever. So maybe um, they could work with a teacher on the project to take science out with them into the classroom that way. So, I mean, the experiments, hopefully, we're going to learn today that the Institute of Physics is showing us, we can do them with, with young children. It's very important to get them involved because it's to dispel the taboo that it's it's a hard subject, no, we don't know what we're doing and yet they're living with it and to get them just interested at a basic level that it is part of everyday life and that could inspire them to go on to looking to doing something else. What's really great is that the women here just seem really enthusiastic about science, even the, even the people who seem to have been press ganged into being the science rep are really open to ideas and trying things. So it's all about making sure they have access to physics that they can do at home, that they can replicate, and which isn't scary in the slightest. I'm not going to be doing any equations at all.